Greetings, one and all two universes. In this show, we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two fighters to find out who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters and make your predictions down in the comment section below or with a video response. And who knows, your comment or video response could be featured in the very next episode. With all that said, let's meet our two fighters. Gru, the world's most despicable villain, and Megamind, incredibly handsome criminal genius and master of all villainy. You know how they say once a villain, always a villain? Well, these two decided to challenge this saying and become some of the world's best defenders, but which villain to hero will send the other to zero? Let's find out. This is Universes. Gru had an easy head start when it comes to villainous deeds, in fact it's his entire family business. Even as a child he was already stealing the crowns of royalty. But as he got older new generations of villains began popping up. While he was stealing small versions of famous landmarks from Vegas, other villains were stealing entire pyramids. So Gru decided to step up his game and outdo the other villains by plotting to steal the moon. But what he didn't expect was falling for three orphan girls that he needed for his plan. After realizing that being a dad was way more fun, he decided to stop his life of crime and go on to sell jellies and jams, which very clearly didn't work out. Luckily, not too much later, he had the chance to become a secret agent with his soon-to-be wife, Lucy. And as a secret agent and former villain, Gru has some pretty neat gear. Possibly his most iconic weapon is one he's been using ever since he was a child, the Freeze Ray. One shot of this will trap anything it hits inside of a block of ice. He also has the opposite of that in the form of the Fireball Launcher. It doesn't do much damage, but it does lock onto targets, making it easier for Gru to aim. He has X-Ray Goggles that allows him to spot specific objects through walls. And let's not forget the secret agent trope of having a generic laser gun for cutting holes in walls and ceilings so he can make unrealistically quick escapes. Then, last but not least, is a skin-tight suit with multiple functions. There's a sticky option that allows him to cling and climb up just about any surface, a hover option that allows Gru to inflate part of the suit floating in the air, and then a camouflage option which makes Gru appear completely invisible. He becomes so well hidden that even highly advanced security systems are unable to detect his presence. Gru does have an army of minions as well, though he typically only brings two with him into battle. They have the power of slapstick and cluttering up your Facebook feed. Yay. But this isn't about the minions, this is about Gru. So let's see what Gru can do. Now Gru's main strength comes from his weapons. While he is able to one-shot a shark, that's pretty much all he has in terms of physical power. His weapons, on the other hand, can cut holes through ceilings, walls, blow up carnival games, and freeze other people entirely. So his weapons do indeed make up for his lack of physical power. So while Gru may not be able to physically give a lot, he can still take a lot. Gru can handle lots of abuse, like taking all the punishments from falling into multiple traps, falling the height of a building, and taking several point-blank missiles to the face. In fact, Gru is even agile and fast enough to be able to climb and hop on these missiles as they're flying, and he's quick enough to catch Brat off guard in a dance fight, which should give him high hypersonic reactions as Brat was able to dance around point-blank laser pistol shots. As for the minions, they're most likely at average speeds, but with their slapstick powers, they should be able to take the same amount of punishment. So Gru's got a pretty despicable team on his hands. But let's see how Megamind compares. Good day, Mr. Sheep's butt. Blam's bottom. Oh yeah, like this any better. <laughs> Like Superman, except more dashing and blue, Megamind was sent to Earth to escape the fate of a doomed planet. Unfortunately, a less dashing and not blue kid had the exact same idea and knocked Megamind off his course. This landed him in a bad place that made him grow up bad and do bad things. Even as a child, he was battling with the Not Blue Kid, also known as Metro Man, for the fate of Metro City. But after days, weeks, months, years, and a couple of decades of this, Metro Man became tired of always winning. So what does he decide to do? Lose! And leave Metro City in the hands of Megamind. Now normally this would sound like the worst idea ever, and yeah it was. Megamind got bored, decided to create a hero to entertain himself, but in a shocking turn of events he defeated this new superpowered foe and became the real defender of Metro City. As both a hero and a villain, Megamind has some pretty neato weapons. His most iconic has to be the D-Gun. He mainly uses it for dehydration, turning his foes into little dried out cubes, but we've also seen it destroy brick walls, blow down doors, and cut ribbons. Plus it has some other functions not seen yet. On the gun we can 
frequency labels for functions such as decompress, deregulate, debilitate, destroy, deethray, and decoupage. That's right, he can decorate things in paper cutouts with a gun. He also has a disguise generator watch which allows him to steal the appearance and voice of anyone. He can even make up his own people for it. He also has knockout spray which sometimes runs out but that's okay because he also has the forget me stick usually wielded by his minion named Minion. He's a smart little fishy with a disguise watch of his own. Aside from that though Megamind also has other help in the form of the brain bots little pets he created that can come to his aid when called even if they're nowhere near him. Then finally is a suit he invented in order to simulate Metro Man's powers. It only worked for speed at first, but a later version improved the strength, x-ray vision, and laser vision. Like Gru, when it comes to Megamind, he doesn't have much in terms of physical strength. Sure, his destructive weapons can blow up doors and walls, but that's about it in terms of raw power. But also like Gru, Megamind is able to take a lot of punishment. He survived the shockwave from a gasoline explosion, he survived getting crushed by his own building-sized mech known as Mega Megamind, and he survived punches from Titan, who has all of Metro Man's strength and powers. That strength includes the ability to lift entire skyscrapers and throw them with ease or knock them down with a single punch. This also includes Metro Man's faster than light super speed as Megamind was able to simulate his powers and outpace Titan. Even without the souped up suit he was able to outrun an explosion when disguised as Bernard. Minion when disguised as Megamind was also able to react to Titan's insane speeds when he ducked under his punch. Together Megamind and Minion are smart enough to escape high security prisons and fool just about anyone. But let's see who's the top villain. Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. <laughs> You've got me. <laughs> Good luck, fellas! We're gonna die! <laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? As the title implies, I'm bringing you another Universe's prediction. I got a couple of people with me today. I got Courts of Universe and Cody Fuller. We got Gru versus Megamind. Any thoughts about Gru? Well, Gru is the leader of the Minions, and he has multiple weapons. He has a freeze ray, he has a shrink ray, he has the fart gun. The fart gun, yeah. yeah. He has all kinds of And weapons. he has an army of Minions. And he, he's pretty crafty, and Megamind, he definitely has a speed advantage. I'll have to say right off the bat, he has speed. He is the, the greatest super genius that usually does fail, but he does have his dehydration gun. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are going with Mega Mind, but for some reason I'm aiming towards Gru. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. His I shrink. Really want, I vote him. Vote him. His yeah. shrink gun might actually do some harm. I mean, it shrunk. What do you say? It shrunk the moon. Yeah, it shrunk the moon, and it shrunk the Pyramid of Giza, and it shrunk all kinds of things. Right. So Mega Mind potentially wins, but altogether we're aiming towards Gru. I feel like he has. Extra weaponry, you could say, and, and intelligence on his side. Yes, Mega Mind is Mega Mind. He's faster. He has some in incredible stuff. But we're going with Gru all the way, folks, for the next universes, right? Yeah. Yeah. Go Gru. As always, have a great one and a blessed one. Peace. What's up, guys? Super Sonic 216 here. Today we're going to be doing a universes protection between Gru versus Mega Mind. So, if you don't, if you haven't watched Garnet vs. Donkey Kong yet, go check that out. Subscribe to Leopold the Brave. He makes really good videos, so go check him out. But now let's go on to the production. So, here's who I think is going to win. I think Mega Mind is going to win because uh, Mega Mind is usually a evil mascot for some reason. Gru does not even like. Like do something. He's kind of pure evil, and just like Mega Mind. But Mega Mind, he's he's kind of more bad. Well, if you if you guys seen the Mega Mind series, then go check it out. Well, y'all guys really, y'all guys were really, were, I don't even know. Just make your vote. Subscribe to Leo the Brave. So yeah, I think Mega Mind is going to win because he's more eviler. He's more awesome. Gru is just weak, and Mega Mind is usually more durable than Gru. So yeah, that's who I think is going to win. So if you don't, if you if you don't, if you have a, if you're not a fan member of Leopold the Brave, please subscribe to him. 
If you're not a big fan of me yet, please subscribe to me as well. So, thanks for watching. Peace out. And the results are in. The winner is... Megamind! Okay, yeah, you gotta at least admit this was a cool matchup, but it did get pretty obvious once I got into Megamind's feet, so let's get right into this. While it's very clear in physical stats that Megamind stomps thanks to his encounters with Metro Man and Titan, there's still more, like the weapons for example. The most Gru has for attacking is his Freeze Ray, Fireball Gun, and Little Laser Pistol. They're all cool weapons, but pretty generic and temporary. His Laser Gun could cut through walls, his Fireball Launcher could destroy Carnival Games, and his Freeze Ray can freeze. Not only that, but the Freeze Ray's ice is extremely fragile too. It can be broken just by falling over as seen by Vector here and Gru here. Meanwhile, Megamind's weapons can blow down doors, destroy brick walls, and dehydrate you completely. And the dehydration is 100% permanent as long as the dehydrated cube doesn't come into contact contact with water. So one shot of that and Megamind would basically get an instant victory. Now we can't really count this next part since we haven't seen how they work, but Megamind's D-Gun also has other functions that would give him an easy win, like Debilitate for example, which by definition would make Gru weaker and useless. Then there's their help. Not only is Megamind's minion smarter and more useful than Gru's minions, complete with his own gear like the Forget Me Stick, but Megamind also beats Gru in numbers. While Gru would need prep time in order to know he needs to assemble all the minions for battle, Megamind can just call upon his brain bots for help, even when he doesn't bring them into battle with him. And they act quickly too, also able to outfly Titan who has Metro Man's powers. Gru and Megamind can both take heavy amounts of punishment, but most of Gru's are generic traps and missile explosions, while Megamind faces abuse from mechs, superheroes, and even bigger explosions. He can definitely take a lot more hits, and with Gru's lack of physical power or weapon strength, Megamind would survive a long time against him. Then, of course, there's their speed, the fact Megamind can simulate Metro Man's powers, the fact that Megamind and Minion are way smarter than Gru and his minions, the list just goes on. Gru may have faced villains, but he's never faced a super villain like Megamind. The winner is Megamind. We won, we won, we won! Uh, 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 get back, you savages! Sorry, sorry. He's just not used to positive feedback. Get ready for the next battle. A blast from the past. The Alien Menaces. The forces made to stop them. But now they face each other in a battle between good and evil.